After inserting the profiles into the template, we can still modify them if necessary, and we will see how to do this in this class. Come on, let's go. In the day-to-day -day design in Plant 3D, we do not take too much care about the alignment of the profiles at the time of their insertion. When we define a rough alignment, placing the profiles quickly and easily. However, during development we can better control how these profiles will be aligned by modifying the alignment. When we use the structure edit command, besides modifying the grid, we can also change the profiles that have already been inserted. After activating this command, Plan3D asks which object we want to modify. We select the desired profile and the profile edit box opens, allowing you to change the selected profile. This can also be done by right-clicking on the profile we want to modify and selecting the option shown. All settings can be modified, which are updated in the project when the dialog box is finished. This way, with this functionality we can easily modify the pattern, type, spacing and alignment of the selected profile. Let's change some of the profiles we inserted earlier to practice the use of the command, follow up. Finally, we will create a specific layer for the profiles, which will allow you to hide them if necessary. This will be useful, as we will still insert other pieces into the structure, such as bodyguards and stairs, also with specific layers, which will make the visualization clearer. After making the necessary modifications, we can adjust and cut the profiles, which we will explore in the next class. We finished this lesson, where we learned how to modify profiles using the structure edit command.